What's up, guys, and welcome back to Average Takes. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Today's Next episode week. is going to be Average Takes NFL Power Rankings. Yes, sir. For Doing week. things a little different this week, but we'll be, we'll be the same. Week nine. Very highly requested video. Everybody's been texting me about this one. They said we need the – Full power rankings. Quit doing the little. Quit giving us little bite sizes. We need the full thing. So here we are giving you the full thing. Exactly. The whole it's hog. Own little on a Wednesday special morning. Piece. One through thirty-two, raw and uncut. Thirty-two to uh, one. It. Boom. Thirty-two. Let's get it started. The worst team in the league. The Dude, Dallas yuck, Cowboys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean the Jets. I mean the Jets. Okay. Quick I mean, quick you have to go Jets just because, obviously, they're 0-8 or whatever, 0-7. They have been playing a little bit better football as of late. I mean, you're getting halfway through the season. We should expect that. Yeah, they're figuring out a little bit. They're learning. But they definitely just traded their best defensive piece to yeah. Pittsburgh Steelers. Sorry. And, I mean, that does not help this Jets team. Or the Steelers team. They it keep trading the these big pieces <laughs> away. They keep trading these big pieces away thinking it's going to help, but I don't think that's the way to do it. I don't know if any other NFL teams ever won like that. Yeah. I, I think. And look, I'm not going to lie. Dallas battling them for this fucking last spot. I can't oh, yeah. Them. Oh, yeah. These teams just, it surprises me because there's a new way to get worse every week for both of them and <laughs> how it happens. Right. I, guess, I yeah. can't see them getting better. Like at all. they lost Dak, you lost Dak, you're automatically worse. Yeah. Um, you lose Sam Darnold, you go to Joe Flacco, maybe an improvement, but you're still got you still got worse. Sam has came back and played a little decent though the last couple of weeks. I mean, yeah, the, I think the Jets realize who they could work with and not work with because when Flacco was in, those games were terrible. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, Sam Darnold comes in a little uh, bit and. Kind of feel bad for Jamison Crowder because he's the only guy they have to throw the ball to, so they throw the ball to him a lot. So yeah. this is the Jets. He's been hurt though. He's, gonna... I think he's coming back this week, yeah. but he's been hurt the last three weeks, so that's why they've been throwing to Randy Scrandies and stuff. <laughs> um, but isn't, uh, isn't Darnold a USC quarterback? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got well, the USC why do the curse. Jets always do that to themselves? Yeah. Let's let's curse ourselves with another USC quarterback. We learned our lesson with Mark Sanchez, but let's do it again. Yeah. I don't yeah. Get it. Literally. <sighs> let's go to thirty-one. How are we feeling? 31. We've talked about him a little bit. Do you think it's the Cowboys? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah for sure. You for sure. You got to give it to him because Cowboys they can't have a score. have a quarterback problem now. They lost Dak for the year. Now they no get more. to realize. What it's going to be if they don't re-sign Dak. What the future looks like. And it looks terrible. Terrible. Very, <laughs> Sign that man. Your, go give your boy that contract that he deserves. All and, the money in the world. Yeah, look forward to next season. I think – but but they should wait till next week to do anything with the quarterback situation because no matter what quarterback they throw out this week, it's going to be awful. It's going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad. I don't mind Jerry Jones going out there. I saw that meme that you were talking about, Shane. I saw it on, on YouTube. I, hey, we got to try something here. This is America's team. We got to get a couple points on the board. We can't be going every week we and only go kick out. a few yeah. goals. Well, Danucci <laughs> was soccer, just bro. benched Men after Danucci. one game. They said, yeah. you're How do you bench the only again. quarterback you got on the roster? They said oh, they got two again. more. They got two more. Oh, God. <laughs> They brought the practice squad. Cooper up. Rush, I think is his yeah. name. Cooper Rush, and then they got Uncle Rico in the back throwing yeah. in some <laughs> trailer. He, he, he just lives in the janitor's office. <laughs> He's throwing Wait. hams in the back. <laughs> 31, another rookie quarterback getting the start this week. Jags. See you Gardner. Or 30, 30, 30, I mean. Jags. 30, 30. Yeah. So who's their rookie they have starting? Jeff, uh, Jake Luton. Luton or Jake Luton, Jake From Luton, Oregon State. Jake Luton. Yeah, I mean, I don't know much about this guy. Minshew was hurt with yeah, a thumb um, situation, I guess. So that's why they're going to a rookie. I mean, unfortunate. This Jags team is a team that needs to go get a quarterback next year when they get the third pick in the draft or the second pick in the draft, whatever. Go get yourself 
someone who could turn your franchise around because this year's not looking good. Very surprised by James Robinson, their running back. Yeah. I did not – after they got rid of Fournette, I was like, there's no way this guy's going to be any good. But I guess they knew something we didn't because this guy's one of the leading rushes in the league now. <clears throat> yeah. He's, yeah, he's a force. Week. He's a force. That's the only yeah, guy is. you're scared of on that team. Only he guy, can yeah. do it all. He, he, he's a three-down back. He can play. He can run. He can catch. So, yeah. Yeah, big fan of him. I'm a big yeah. fan. Bright future for that guy in Jacksonville. It's always nice to have Hopefully a good running back. Jacksonville. Nah, keep him in there. <laughs> Uh, why they put some team around them? Damn. Yeah, they're not known to do that, though. <laughs> I want to know what exactly. I tried to trade their big pieces. A little yeah. sidebar here. Um, Jags haven't been good since Justin Blackman got suspended in 2013. And he's still he suspended. Is. You know how crazy that is? Um, why is he still, still suspended? suspended bro? Let him, let him free. Was that yeah. when they had Maurice Jones Drew? Basically, back then, that's how far ago that was. Jones what? Drew, that guy was a beast. Wasn't wasn't he rolling papers, bro? What what yeah. did he do? Same thing, oh, Josh Gordon. Same plan, but Josh Gordon was let back quick, meant multiple times, and Blackman mm. still has it. So damn, that's crazy. They got it's a free first Blackman. round. He was supposed to be burn. really good. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, Oklahoma State guy wasn't. Didn't he play with Brandon Whedon? Yep. Yep, yeah. the thirty-year-old rookie back then. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. That was a terrible. He got play. drafted by the Yankees. Did you know that, Brandon? Weed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was drafted by the Yankees in baseball and went back to college. Interesting fun fact: that guy sucked. Yeah, because <laughs> he was thirty. Yep. <laughs> well, he's um, like... Let's move on. How are we feeling at twenty-nine? Twenty-nine. I think I'm going I'm... football team. Yeah, there's a few the teams Giants. that could go there. Mm-hmm. You got the Giants. Go Giants. Football Giants. I think well, the Giants. They have a one, though. They don't win. Them? Yes. No, no the didn't. Giants, Giants beat, them. beat them by a last their own second. For their lot, only one of the year. And obviously, you yeah, put well, football then, team below the Giants. Yeah. yeah. The Giants yeah. beat them. I thought it was the other way well, around. Well, they're so, facing yeah, I this week. The yeah. Giants. But the I, I, Washington, has a who would they beat? Yeah, who would they beat? They have two wins. Washington they beat has the two. Eagles, right? Or no, they beat the Cowboys for sure. Everybody beats the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and now off the top of my head, not thinking about who else they beat. Can't remember. Um, Anybody know? I'm looking right now. So uh, I, I, I typed One, football two, team and it didn't, it didn't come in. Yeah. It's not their name. No, it's just Washington. It's Washington football team. They beat the Eagles. I hate how they took the name. They beat the Eagles, so it was two division wins. They beat wins. the Eagles. Yeah. yeah. Two division wins, and they beat the Eagles pretty handedly by ten points in week one. You, and that yep. that was supposed to be a really close game. The Eagles were supposed to be good this year. Carson went. I don't, we'll get into that in a little bit, but yeah, <laughs> football team or Giants? Who do we want here? I mean, I think Washington's defense is better. I think now that we have an actual starting quarterback for the football team, he's already thrown more touchdowns than Haskins. Um, Kyle Allen is who I'm talking about, obviously. And yep. less attempts than Haskins. So I think they found someone they trust. And I honestly believe this Washington team's better. They lost on a two point conversion try instead of sending it to overtime because Riverboat Ron was just going for the W, trying to teach his guys how to win. And I think they actually beat this Giants team and how bad. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Ron too. So, so I, I'm I okay mean, with the I putting think 29 the Redskins Giants. or the football team up. Yeah, yeah 29 that. Giants, 28 football team. 29 yeah. Giants. Yeah, I'll agree. They're back-to-back. Yep. And then Texans <clears throat> are the best 1-6 and six team. I agree, but – They're still 1-6. They're still 1-6. <laughs> exactly. So, I'll put the Lions 27, but they can be switched. <clears throat> Lions are better than Damn. Texans. Okay. Lions. Football team going at 28, right? Yeah. Okay, football team 28, and then 27 I, I, we're I talking about. I have 27 about. Houston also, Shinny. I mean, this is a great roster. Yep. They didn't make any moves on the trade deadline to move any key pieces, but a guy like Will Fuller, who they've been talking about trading, is a free agent this offseason. Why don't you go trade that fool for a piece and then try to move on? Because I would imagine he's walking away at the end of the year. Yeah, um, you would Take think you would think though, since they're having the coaching problems, they got they want to attract a coach to come here and and be a part of this organization. They want to keep as much of the talent they do have left. 
So he's one of the bright spots on that offense. So, I mean, I can see why they want to keep him, but you better be ready to pay him in this offseason yep. or yeah. he's going to go somewhere with a lot more talent. Because oh, yeah. they were asking the Packers for okay a second-round pick, but Packers said no. He's walking at the end of the year. I'm not giving up a second for him. Houston I think the Texans are like the um, Cowboys. I feel like Deshaun Watson's holding that team together. If just anything happened to Deshaun, that team. I mean, ha- exactly what ha- happened to Cowboys. You're holding it together, hey, but it's hey, one and six. Hey, we're two and yeah. one. I mean, they're two and one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're two and one since they fired their coach. Yeah, true. Oh. Well, yeah, it's looking up because that team has a lot of talent. I was expecting this team to be pretty decent this year. I thought they were going to win their division or at least be battling for the division. But uh, you, you never know with the NFL, especially the way the COVID season started. I'm they okay need somebody with better 27. than Duke Johnson as a running back, bro. They do. His name's David Johnson, and he still sucks. Or David Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Both they're Johnson on the same team. They are. Yeah, they they are. David Johnson was right about I forgot. Duke. I was, yeah, I was looking at fantasy and – what the wasn't David Johnson? He came over with the Hopkins trade. Yeah, for Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how you know Brian or O'Brien was ruining this team, bro. You trade yeah. the, the, one, one of the top three wide receivers in the league for an off injured running back who hasn't performed in a couple of years. Kyler over there having an MVP type season now, and they're shining over there. Yep. Yes. Yep. That's exactly what that Cardinals team needed was a playmaker on offense. Yeah, and that's exhausting. Well, every exactly team needed what a DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins. Needed. Well, yeah, that's what Hopkins <laughs> yeah. needs too, bro. Yeah, I agree, Roman. Because his fucking um, time in the league was shortening if he stayed in. Uh, care, um, he would have pulled a Calvin Johnson. He was he was yeah, in Texas. an interview, yeah. and they go, "Hey, can we read off the list of names of quarterbacks he played for?" And it was like. 15 names and he was just sitting there with his hand he over his put head. his head over his head yeah he was literally like how did i survive like that now i yeah. got tyler who's run first i mean and he's still surviving still dropping dimes though. yeah i'm happy for him getting somewhere that's competitive me too so did we lock we lock in 27 texans yep yep 26 26 it's either Patriot. I, oh you got patriots that low that's a I mean, big they, baller move right really? there. They're pretty bad. I'm okay with the Falcons. I'm I, on think the Patriots the Falcons now. I think the Falcons. I think the Falcons and the Vikings are looking <clears throat> way more promising than the Patriots look right now. The Patriots look like they're going tanking for Trevor Lawrence because that's they can't play with because their salary caps too much. I mean, what kind of lame like excuse? It, it looks like I they agree. are calling run plays on purpose just to tank, like run the clock out and tank. I, I really think they're just trying to get the season over with. They just want the games yeah. over as fast as possible. They don't want to do nothing. They want Trevor Lawrence. They want Justin Fields. They want a new quarterback. They want to restart. I could put Patriots in. Season's a wash. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm fine with that. That's fine by me. Team's horrible this year. Yeah. <laughs> and then – I'll put the Panthers I don't know. We're, in, we're in a different bracket now. Mm-hmm. Now we got to see the best two and five. We got to wait on the Panthers. Team. I got Bengals. We got to wait on the Panthers. Yeah, yeah, we have a couple of teams that have worse records that might be more promising. Is Teddy out out or is he still playing? And McCaffrey's coming back too? Yeah, McCaffrey's yeah. Back. supposed to be back. Teddy's out. No, and Teddy's, no news on Teddy for me. Yeah, yeah, I think Teddy's fine. Yeah, I think he was fine. He came back in that game. I don't think there was any <laughs> underlying ish or injuries after. So 25, I feel like is either it's got to be no, like no. A, a the Chargers. Chargers. Uh, I was thinking 25. Chargers. I was thinking um, Vikings. Those type teams. Yeah. Wait, we're on 24 right now, right? No, what? On 25 Patriots. No, 26. We said 26. 26 Patriots. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's I'm it's lost between. I don't know. Jets, go 32, the Chargers, Cowboys, 31. I mean, you got Chargers, Chargers Eagles, Eagles Lions, Falcons, Bengals is what you have to Did, play. Have right. the Bengals paid, played the Chargers or any of the upcoming yeah. teams we're about Bengals to Bengals lost to the Chargers week, week one. one with Tyrod. Yeah. Okay, so do we want to do we want to put the Bengals here and then go that's up who, from there? That's who I have is Bengals, but yeah. they look good. I mean, do we have Bengals that low after beating a top team? Five. Yeah, we had, yeah, top we had five. Titans top five. And the Bengals yeah. put a is it a fluke? On them. Is it a fluke win? Do that you think they repeat and keep going, like building momentum from here? Because well, they have no chance to win their division. 
I think some of the two and five teams look better than like the Eagles and stuff, you know? Yeah. We could put the Eagles here too. I was thinking that. I think the Eagles fucking suck. They suck in everything. Offense, defense, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, O-line, coaching, terrible. Just go retire. All of you, Carson Wentz, be gone, please. <laughs> you have the so best we opportunity. Then? I could definitely put Eagles there because I think the Eagles are very bad. They play very bad football. And that wraps up the NFC East. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, they're all top 25 or bottom 25 teams. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that. So now we have to find yeah. out who's 24 or Nick's worst. I think if you want to go off who beat who, then the Bengals have kind of fits here. Because then you the, put the, we don't have the Falcons up yet. I mean, just because the roster. Yeah, I was just good. thinking Falcons. Oh, they have shit. one win. I forgot about no, the Falcons. I'm, See, I'm. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Eagles might um, actually be 24, but we could leave it for now because the Eagles are winning their division, right? Yeah. Or is it football? Yeah, team they winning? are. No, the Eagles are. The Eagles are. And and the Falcons have no chance in playoffs. Where the Eagles might. Okay, so I'm okay with switching those. Okay, so okay let's swap 25 those. would be let's Falcons. Okay. But the let's Falcons? lock that in. Will they play this week? And then 24 Eagles. The Broncos. Damn. Yeah, that's a good game. Yeah, we're, we're... It's gonna be a lot of good games this week. We're in the 20s now. Well, last week kind of pissed me off because I took yeah. all defensive favors except one team, <laughs> and I went – eight and six, whatever it was. So now we have Chargers or Lions. I mean, uh, Chargers. I rank the Chargers lower than the Lions. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, um, yeah. Chargers' future looks good, but with this coaching staff, the season kind of washed. Low in games, yeah. But I hope they tank. We have the number the, seven pick right now. Only the first half looks good. The second half doesn't look good. Yeah. That's how yeah, the first half looked great, and bro. I think that's Drew co- I think that's coaching. Yeah, Drew I think Locked that's no any. game plan changing. I think, and I think that has a lot to do with coaching. I mean, these players are really like doing it all. And now, needs been tell. screaming they need to get rid of Anthony Lynn too. From I've the been beginning. saying it, bro. And it's why didn't we fire him last week? We gave up a twenty-one point lead. Um, yep. I just don't understand some of these coaches. Like, <laughs> if I'm up by twenty-one, I want to be up by forty-two. Yeah, I want exactly. to be up by fifty. I don't. I don't. I want yeah, to score. Play to, play to win. Play to win the game. Early. And just you game. play to win the game. I Literally, agree. Bro. Unless you're the Los Angeles Chargers, <laughs> then you play to lose the game, or the Jets. Hate that, bro. I don't know. It's it's almost like they don't want any fan base at all. It's like we're gonna shred Seriously. the fan base we had in San Diego, and then we're gonna go play heartbreak games for any little San Diego fans that held on this far. We're gonna lose you here by the end of this season. Yeah, <laughs> find an all new team. Uh, it's <laughs> looking like it. Y'all need to get signed free agents. You need to get free agency. I don't know what you're thinking, bro. We tried this okay. offseason. They're all literally hurt. yes. I'm talking Can about for your has it for your fan fan oh, for fans. You need to go ahead to feed. Skip the Bengals. Mm-hmm. Now I'm looking at the. Lips. I would go Bengals okay, here. So, okay. I mean, just because the way the, they won Titans. Yeah, just because yeah. they beat the crap out of the Titans. I mean, I know they yeah. lost to the Chargers Week One. It was a very close game. They should have won off a missed field goal. I think I put them right under the Chargers, or right above, I guess. Huh? Right above the Chargers. Look at it. Yeah. But okay. So are they better than Carolina though? I feel like Carolina might be next. Um, Carolina, I feel like we got to think... out because Vikings are still out there. <laughs> Vikings and Broncos. I mean, oh. yeah, yeah, Vikings, Broncos. Yeah, okay, I so 20, 23, still... we're going to – let's solidify 22 not Chargers. Those, yes. Those 22, 22, we're solidifying Bengals. That's locked? Yeah. I locked that Bengals pick in there. And that makes them oh. jump up so many picks for being – last week we had 28 Bengals, and this week they're 22. That's plus six. Yep. For W against the top five team, I think that's fair. Well, then that's pretty fair. Yeah, the Vikings got to keep rising too. I don't think you can even put them twenty-one. Maybe no, 12. I don't think Vikings here. I think it would be Broncos. Broncos, bro. Yeah, I mean the Panthers just lost to the Falcons, bro. Yeah, yeah I mean, I just the Panthers. Panthers have wins in their division or in their division or close games in their division. I don't think they have a division. And they're getting they're, they're, yeah, they're one and three in the division. 
They're yeah, but fast we don't that's know how good – we don't know his workload e- either. True, but I think that's, that's, I think that's one you. of those. Yeah, I think that's one of those guys who are a game changer. You know how Dalvin's back and we're looking at Vikings, their potential's yeah. looking good? I think yeah. McCaffrey's one of those guys we're just forgetting. I agree. I haven't and seen the him Panthers. for a okay, so, yeah. so, do we have the Lions yet? The Lions no, can go here. No, Lions can very much go here. That's a perfect call. Oh, okay. I want to put the Broncos Lions. here. This is what's screaming at 21. Broncos okay. at 21. Okay. That's that's, and that's where we've have. had Broncos. They have, they don't move at all if they're still 21. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it looked like a bad loss at first, and then they come back. Drew Locke heated yeah. up second half. Baller. I mean, yeah, he played like a baller. That yeah. Broncos team – Played good second half. It's I'm, I was so upset that game. Yeah, it was terrible That's football. Game. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so let's solidify twenty two Bengals, twenty one Broncos, and let's move to twenty. Twenty. I gotta go Lions here. I don't Lions. feel comfortable putting Lions anywhere, anywhere else. else. Okay. Yeah, they were yeah. looking my a little only, bit too high. Lions are my three only and argument four. is Vikings are still out there. So you Vikings guys want to rank Vikings of, above? Vikings came off a good win over. a Pretty good Packers team. And yeah, I like this Vikings good. team. I'm not, I'm not mad at this team. Yeah. I think if I you think run they the can ball figure more, out, yeah. Dalvin and <clears throat> take some of the pressure off. Um, you can see how much Dalvin this, these two are playing like, each other this week. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Lions and Lions, Vikings. Vikings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and Lions have the 31st ranked pass D, uh, rush defense, and Packers were oh. 32nd. And he saw what he did last week. He yep. saw what he did like, last week. Yep. The show, yep. the show must go on for that guy. Show must continue. Yeah. And if the Vikings are smart, they'll do it because you got to get do it. Yep. the ball out of Kirk Cousins' hand. It's you're not confident day in and day out, bro. Yeah. He could throw three picks mm-hmm. in the first quarter, or he could throw three touchdowns. It just, yep. you know, you can never they're, mm-hmm. they're going to have to rely on Dalvin Cook to do anything this year. Oh yeah, I would sure. feed the hell. You could out already of him. tell when Dalvin Cook got hurt, they were losing, bro. Yeah, yeah they needed him. Yeah, exactly. And the Colts just came off of giving up forty-one points. Or the All right, Lions so let's let's lock in forty-one. Let's lock in Colts. Detroit twenty and yes. Vikings nineteen. And this is yes. this is a game to watch now because these two could flip flop. <clears> but the game, I is agree. Free. Okay, eighteen is Panthers. I think we've been talking about them. Yep, Panthers. Panthers. Yep. Yeah. It has to be coming off of loss versus the Falcons on Thursday night football. They got a long time to think about that. I they mean, got spanked too. They were they were getting cracked. Like it just looked like the Falcons were playing aggressive. They looked like the the better team on the field. It's hard yeah. to say that about the Falcons, but they well, did honestly. True. It was the true. Panthers don't have a good matchup this week for them. They're facing the Chiefs. They're facing the Chiefs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's not – it doesn't look good for Panther fans. I would definitely sit Christian McCaffrey out if you're looking at that game. You think so? Yeah, you might if, if it's a blowout, yes. Give him another, if it's a blowout. Give, just no, give yeah, him I think, week. I think yeah. you need to get him in game conditions for, like, the first quarter maybe. I mean, yeah. But I yeah, wouldn't have a chance that's a good point. Give team. him a few snaps. Yeah. Maybe a handful. If that's anything, about yeah. It. If anything, yeah. If anything, give him like a handful of snaps. If you're if not, winning, just leave him out. If you're winning, and you want definitely and he plays. Good, he definitely yeah. runs the first run <laughs> of the day. Now we so, get into we, so we we're gonna lock in eighteen Panthers and we're gonna move to seventeen. Seventeen. Now browns. it's gonna start. These are gonna be the really browns, hard ones. I have are browns, browns are these ones are. I have Browns. Yeah, and I, li- I like I like the Dolphins better than the Browns. Honestly. I do too. I have Dolphins yeah. higher. Yeah. Than that. Dolphins I defense did, showed I, up. I do not like this Browns team at all. Especially losing at their all. best would, receiver. Yep, I would drop Dude, them all the way to thirty-two if it was up to me. And last <laughs> week I rewatched that game because um, I root for the Browns. I'm not gonna lie, and they dropped a lot of passes, bro. Like Landry was dropping passes. Their rookie tight end was dropping them. Like. Yeah, it was windy, and Baker's not the best quarterback, but you have to help him out. You can't be dropping passes in and out of hands. Yeah. Like There was two touchdowns that got um, taken out of Landry's hand, that, and it's embarrassing. You have to make those catches to win games, and that's why they got kind of beat up. This is professional football, you yeah. know, and you're wide receivers. <laughs> I know I, I hate to say it like and sound like the dude on the couch who's sitting there with his belly out eating chips going, you need to catch the ball, but – it's, it's honestly like <laughs> you're getting paid millions of dollars to catch the ball, you know. So let's let's at least 
I mean, I get some catches are just not your fault, but let's make some fucking easy catches, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so let's lock in Brown 17. Yep. 16, who do we got? I have 49ers. 49ers have dealt with a lot of injuries yep. as of late. They just lost their best score on offense. Their quarterback's down for a couple weeks also. It's just not looking – the future doesn't look good for the 49ers. I mean, if your backup could come in and do something, maybe. We saw him come in and score against the Seahawks what's, defense at the end of the game. What's good about that, though, is their backup is comfortable playing. Like He's comfortable taking reps with the number one guys because he does it almost every year for like yeah. six, seven games because – if someone gets hurt, this this team has an injury bug right now. And so, I mean, I don't think he's that good because they lost George Kittle as well. But I agree. I like him at 16 right here. Yeah, yeah. I like him at 16. Yeah, too. they no fall arguments. a couple spots. Um, they were 14 I think they're gonna, last time. 16. I say the key falling is my guess. Yeah, it doesn't look good. They face um, a tough opponent this week, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Packers on Thursday hey. night. Yeah, but the oh, game's getting canceled Packers this week. It's getting canceled. <laughs> Might. 49ers or postponed or postponed till Sunday. That'd be lit, bro. Four games to bet on. Let's go. <laughs> 16. Okay, so 16 locking in 49ers. That would mean 15 is a big mover. This is where I it's have Miami, right? Miami, yes. I have Miami. Yeah. I mean, they held. I think they held back Tua in his arm a little bit last week, and they won it with their defense. I did not think that defense was going to look as good as it does. I know we've said the Rams have been pretty inconsistent this year in games. They if they win them, it's very close, or they play terrible games. And last week was terrible. Their defense looked good early and then bad. So then are we going to put the Rams 14? Well, I just – I think this – I like I, I like Miami being here because they're they're technically – they're not winning their division, but this could be no. a playoff team. Could yeah. end up winning this division. So a Ram, – and the Rams still, I feel like, have to win their division because they play inconsistent, but, but that's still a top team, you know? So yeah. that's, that's the only reason why I still rank Dolphins behind them even though they just beat them. No, I agree. I think – the Rams should well, we, be ahead of them because they have more powerful wins. Yeah. Their, their wins are just – I came in, blew you out, and then they lose like close – They, I don't know. They lose close games, but they win big games. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I agree, though. Yeah. The next so couple are kind of weird. Locking Dolphins. Yeah. 14 more Dolphins. Because we, Bears, we, have, we have to play with – Raiders or the Rams, right? Raiders, I Bears, and Rams. Bears, Bears are next, bro. Bears so are coming Raiders, off two losses. Raiders beat the Browns last week. Yeah, Raiders. And the Bears are coming off two straight. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I'm okay with the Bears there. I think the Raiders are up there. Yeah. Higher than that. It's close. Least. Okay. Uh, this 14, is this yeah. is very close. This is like, like middle of the – Mitchell Trubisky in, they could keep climbing too. I don't know. I saw yeah, how I've, bad I've Mitch was earlier, but Nick hasn't looked good either. Bro, I think they're about the same level but... quarterback. I don't really get why they benched Mitch. I don't understand. He was they were undefeated. They were winning games with Mitch and they put Nick I in think the, the No, I think the only the only thing that's gonna work for that, like Mitch and Nick, is Mitch you you wanna say has more potential. You wanna say can get better. Nick kind of hit his peak already. That's about as good as he's gonna get. So yeah, you, you know want you wanna with work Nick. with Mitch, but I mean he hasn't been he hasn't, hasn't been doing anything. He just continues to suck, and you're just like, what do I got to do here? Yeah, I say they put him back in the game, and they win more games, bro. You know, it sucks having two yeah, of the same thing. level quarterbacks because yeah. I hate playing, like, football when it's, you don't know who to get behind. You don't know who to hype up. You hype yeah. up the wrong guy, and, you know, like. No, and I mean. I'm a Bears mean, fan this year for all the Chicago fans out there. Yeah, because they've been playing pretty for. good football. Yeah, but but what I think went through the coach's mind is who is more consistent, and Nick Foles is more consistent. But yeah, but probably. Trubisky's impact plays and ma- he's making like spectacular plays. He's way higher than what Nick Foles can do. Look, Nick's Nick's got more clout, bro. It's simple as that. Like Nick Foles has more clout than Mitch Trubisky, so we gotta base it. That's who we're starting. We gotta start the more clouded quarterback. I love Chicago that. needs to build their fan base. Yeah. Yep. So 14, we're locking in Chicago. 
13? You either got Raiders Rams. or Rams. Ra- Raiders, yeah. Raiders. You got yeah. Raiders right there? Yeah. I-, I could do either way. I think the Rams loss kind of should move them to 13, but yeah, I, think I, so. I, I just still think that to team's going to be good. Yeah, let's yeah, we we could go put Rams Las there. Vegas there. Okay, who do you guys want, Rams, Rams. or Raiders? Um, Rams 13, Raiders 12. Better. If you were to just think about whose defense would you think is better? Oh, I think Rams defense is better. I think Rams, Rams defense is better, yeah. They didn't look better. They didn't really look I last swear. I mean, they didn't do terrible last week. They gave up um, – defense scored 21 points against them. Miami's defense did. So, they didn't really give up that many points to the Dolphins' offense. That defense is pretty good. Having the two superstars they have might just rank them just barely above them. But I'm okay putting them at 13 because they're lost to Miami. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you guys All think? All right. I'm okay with that. At Rams yeah. at 13. 12. We're going to go Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I, I mean, I like this Raider team right now. Their O-line has stepped up big. Um, I think they have a good matchup this week for how their team plays against the Chargers. Yeah, I was thinking that Josh too. Josh Jacobs is a stud, and he, we saw him yeah. get back to form last week. I mean, he did run, run the ball a lot because how windy it was, but that's what you need to do with your star running backs is feed them. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I think this offense is pretty good for Las Vegas. I've been hating on him for most of the podcast and hating on Derek yeah. Carr. This offense is pretty solid. I just think it's bizarre how teams – like with like when you have Josh Jacobs or when you have like Zeke, give them the ball. Let them run. They're like, like I know the Cowboys are, are totally different, totally way off, but let them eat. Literally give them the ball. That's the best player on the offense who's going to get the ball right there. Make them, make them run the ball. Make the other team stop you. Yeah, he doesn't get enough carries on that team. Though. Yeah, I agree. And he's not scoring, but they, they like their they like game. their receivers in Derek Carr in the red zone. They like yeah. their mismatches. They play with a lot of guys out there. You know, they got little Hunter Renfro who seems to make plays day in and day out since he was a college kid. So I mean, yep. this Raiders team is, is well, low. They got key. some sneaky wide receivers yes. out yeah, there. A sneaky yeah. team. I think this Raiders is a sneaky team. Yep, I agree. And so that puts 11. We're left. I, What's I mean, the number I, one I, defense, I think? Colts. Colts? Uh, Colts? Titans here, Colts, I Colts moved Colts up a lot, than... too. That's a good jump for Colts. I mean, it's either Colts you or went Titans. Where? Colts I or put Titans. Titans. I put Titans. You 11. put Titans outside of the top oh, 10. Outside of the top 10. I can't, they, got, they got kicked. Well, I can't, I can't boot them out of the top 10 yet. Why is that? Because they're the still Colts, Saints. The we Colts still got the a, Saints. Yeah, the Saints are winning games, close games to me without their star guys. I got them higher. Got they, them well, they beat there? the Panthers. I don't. And who else so did they beat? I think. Oh, never mind. Fuck. So We're eleven, about eleven the, will lock the Saints for sure or Colts. the Colts. Yeah. Eleven I for sure. Colts will lock Colts. that in. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Colts had scored forty-one on the Lions. I mean, this Colts team is last week. They're not promising. They're, it's not yeah. promising. It's not like a team that I you can bet them. on week in and week out. But it, they score points. Like, yeah. I don't know. They I have been winning. Not in on the Colts good. yet. The I know the defense is good. Beat the shit out of their team, and then the Bengals beat the shit out of the Titans. So that's why I put Titans lower. I, I think um, the only reason I put Saints here at 10 and then Titans are going to be nine for me because the Saints won by three last week to the Panthers and they the won Bears. by three to the Chargers. No, three yeah. to the Bears last week. Let me see. Yeah. No, they had a bye week last – or let me see. I'm, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, last I, week I, was I might Bears. Have pass. Yeah, so three to the Bears, three to the Panthers, three to the Chargers in that order. All wins by three. Not good teams, the other two. The Bears are a decent team. We don't really know about the Bears. That's the only reason – the Titans still have – good wins and they have way they have like solid wins you know where they beat the bills yeah. by a lot of points they and lost like the Bengals. The, I, I think was a misstep yeah okay so that's why i put i back put saints at 10 losses. and then yeah. titans at nine where, where yeah. were they before our three team yep they dropped, that's a big drop they dropped too. six they drop. Yeah. i think they're I gonna continue the, the drop 10, though i think the, the bills beat them this week honestly you think so oh the bills don't even play them what the fuck no yeah 
Seahawks are playing the Bills. Yeah. The Titans are playing the are Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Yeah, the Bears. Yeah. The Bears. So this will be a big test. So the Saints have beat the Bears already by three. That was last week. Yeah. So, so that's why that I only I only put the Saints team. at ten. Yeah, then nine drop them to end. nine. So if they lose if they lose this week, then we got to drop them out of top ten for sure. They start sliding a lot. Well, yeah. Whoever loses that game, Bears Titans is going to um, end up zero and three the last three weeks. Yeah, with the yep. fifteen to twenty range, that's probably what they'll go to. Yeah. Okay, so we're good with that. Ten Saints, nine Titans for now. Nine Titans, yes. Yeah. Eight. Okay. Cardinals. I yeah. I agree. agree. Yeah, that's what I think too. Arizona. I Which mean, they jumped up a bunch of spots. Yeah. They were yeah. ten last week, and they didn't play. So I mean, they're just oh, yeah, moving, moving because other teams have been losing and winning. Yeah. True. You know, but that's good so for them. That's good for them, and they have another and, test last, this week. Their last win was against the Seahawks, too. So yeah, yeah, in overtime in a shootout yeah. with one of the teams that don't really lose games like that in late late games. Russ Wilson, mm-hmm. that's the quarterback you want, and they I'm beat fine him. With moving them up. No, yeah, me too. They have I a like big Arizona week versus Dolphins this week. Yeah. Oh. Yep. So then, wait, 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 because the Green Bay just lost to Minnesota. So, oh yeah, and there they can go here or even nine. I think yeah, actually we could move Arizona to seven. Yeah, and Green Bay well, down to eight because I had Green Bay above Arizona. Because then if we're moving Arizona to seven, then we're gonna run into the Seahawks, you know? Because then they beat the Seahawks. So do we move? Do we swap Seattle and Arizona? Like you know. No, we can't do we that. We this. can't do that because yeah. Arizona has a couple weird losses to the Lions uh, and someone else. I, okay, I so mean, the-, the Packers have two losses. They have one versus a top three team, Bucks, and they have one to a very bad Vikings team. I think we still got to rank Bills. A too. one in a one yeah. in six Vikings team. One in- yeah, I don't think you guys weren't saying very bad Vikings team. When we were just talking about them earlier. <laughs> you were saying, yeah. like, oh, I mean, overall, there, but not a good yeah. team. Oh, that that's because last, of last week, week. Last week they yeah. looked like a great team. Well, because the game changer looking, was you're back. Bro, they're gonna keep jumping up in the power rankings, so we can't. Call I'm that team, bro. Yeah, like, you can. You can. No, I don't think you can. They're one in six record. I um, guess yes, but uh, one in six on paper, they're a good team. The Browns yeah. are a bad with, team. With Dalvin Cook, the Browns a not team. a bad team. The Browns are a bad the team. Browns are shit. Browns are Browns shit. Are shit team. See, you can call <laughs> bad teams. Okay, but you don't have playmakers on the Browns like Dalvin Cook is. When Dalvin Cook's yeah. out, they lose games. Everybody well, on the maybe Browns someone needs to make a trade. Maybe OBJ somebody needs to make a trade. Now and they've OBJ lost over. For one week, bro, they've been losing way before that. When they're Dalvin five Cook and lose. three now. Yeah, they, but and they the did. The Vikings they did. are two and five or whatever. Two. They did lose with OBJ though. Two two yeah. losses with Lost OBJ. With OBJ. They haven't won without Dalvin Cook. I get what you're saying. So wait, here's here's my question though. Where do we put Bills if we're sliding the Packers? Because Bills barely beat the Jets, and well, and right now we have Arizona right eight, after. but I could have seen Bills at eight. Yeah, I I think huh? you can put them right after. I think. Do so you want Bills right here at seven? I have Packers at seven. They lost okay. again. Okay. Packers seven. Yeah. Bills six. Bills six okay. is what I have it. And then Baltimore five. I have Baltimore five, yeah. Yeah, they can't lose. They can't drop down too many spots after barely losing to the number one team. They let all not, game. Did not, okay. did not barely lose. Barely lost to the number one team. <laughs> they lost by four points. <laughs> and you guys <laughs> tacked in your you guys, on that last drive. Yeah, so, the last drive barely. ended on the like ten yard line. <laughs> what a shaking. Maybe you he should throw the ball. Been if he threw the ball, maybe they could win. <laughs> Everyone in the hole. Stadium knew that they were running on that down. Yep. I, I like this team at five because this defense is really good. Yep. Yeah. This Ravens team is still scary. Of, of they got to figure out. And the Ravens team are the is the only chance of breaking the 16 and 0 for the Steelers. It's yeah. literally the yep. only yep. chance left because ain't happening. Never twice. Easy on Thanksgiving, we're gonna be eating that turkey. 
eating that turkey, eating that, turkey. Eating that mashed potatoes <laughs> on Thanksgiving. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be turkey for Thanksgiving this year. It's gonna be Raven. It's Raven <laughs> on that table, baby. And some W's. Put some gravy yeah. on that. Some yeah, gravy on, on it. W's, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we lock in Ravens at four. Let's get the five. fucking bullshit Ravens out of here. Five. Oh, Number yeah, four. five. Sorry, I'm looking at four now. Four, four. I mean, Seahawks. They got one loss. Yeah. It's first a Cardinals team who we obviously think is pretty good. Yeah. Cardinals have one of the best offenses in the game. To come back and battle Russell in overtime the way Kyler did is insane to me. Second year mm-hmm. quarterback. I mean – this Cardinals team is low key becoming one of my favorite teams in their the sleepers, have. though. They're sleepers. Yeah. Yeah. They got I the like parts. Them. They have all the things on paper to be a good team. They just need to click and together. Don't you know? sleep on the coach Cliff. Coach hey, Cliff. And, uh, yeah, I feel that too. The Arizona's are making me want to root for them. Yeah. I mean, Arizona might Arizona year. might be better because they just passed uh recreational marijuana there now. <laughs> e hop is hype. Yep. Yep. <laughs> You love to hear that. Kingsbury, yeah. hi. Yeah. Okay, so that we team. went from talking about Seattle at four to hyping up Arizona. So <laughs> let's, lock, lock in, yeah. let's lock in Seattle at four and move to number three. Number three, Buccaneers. Tom Terrific. Cam Brady. Tampa Bay. Cam Brady. Tampa's looking scary this week. Looking they activated solid. Antonio Brown. What do you guys really expect from him? Honestly. Um, I hope. I'm gonna save yeah, it. Monday night was a little sketchy though. Monday night was a little sketchy though. Monday night was a little sketchy. Good thing they're playing Danny Dimes and that great offense because he looked shitty. I mean, yeah. he lo- he played good, but like good and bad. I Your don't know. Your team almost won this week, Shenny. Giants <laughs> almost snuck that one out of there. My team won. Close. My team almost. won. <laughs> We're sitting there looking pretty. <laughs> gonna win again this week i'm putting all my money on it so that's your best okay. bet for the week top so two and three, some people Tampa. don't have them number two top three and they're not one but they're not two top two we got pittsburgh steelers yep i'm going they're steelers at two great. you go steelers at two seven and oh yeah i think that bubble's gonna pop thanksgiving i i don't know maybe they have one loss <laughs> but i think as soon as they run into the chiefs in the playoffs it's, it's over, over. With. It's over, baby. No fly. See, I fantasy can't, land. Can't, the can't do it. Over can't. With. They're undefeated. I, I can't There's do There's seven it. games, no losses. Seven right, in a Steelers row. Steelers have a couple right, of right. top ten bro, wins Super under Bowl their belt. Defending champions, bro, and only had one fluke loss to the Raiders, bro. Exactly. One we haven't even lost yet. Great. We haven't even lost. We, you can't even call it a fluke because we haven't even lost. <laughs> you cannot call it a fluke because we haven't even lost. <laughs> oh no, I agree with Trevor in this situation. I mean, the Steelers week to week are in battles, but good teams figure out how to win. Good teams figure out how to finish games. And when you I mean, have an yeah. MVP Question. caliber person on your team, you're not losing. Bro. We have an MVP defense. defense. Our defense yeah, is yeah. our MVP. We have yeah. 11 they guys who are MVP. Okay, you have one. Have TJ probably, TJ probably could win MVP as a defensive player this year. You need 11 year. people to be a good defense. Pat Mahomes uh, only know. needs himself. Pat Mahomes <laughs> only needs himself, bro. Okay. Well, tackle when Spillane, oh, wait, Spillane in, uh, ate Henry at the, at, oh, or at the uh, goal line. Yeah. yeah, and we just it was traded actually TJ for... Watt who came and saved them. Yeah, yes. If it wasn't for TJ Watt, Watt who came and made that tackle, so Belaine's probably laying there dead. Bro. I don't know what happened. His back. And we just yeah. traded for that linebacker from the Jets. Y'all Hold tripping? Up. We got to talk oh, about the numbers. Can we, can we clip in right here? Can we? You got a linebacker from an O and Oh yeah. Okay. So okay. So Steel. So Steel or KC two, right? Yeah, I agree. At least we haven't lost to the Raiders. KC two, just because of their lost to the Raiders and I think it is a little bit of a fluke but it's what we've seen is how we have to judge this they lost to the Raiders a couple weeks ago they keep winning I mean I hate you guys but I we guess can't, I'll freaking go with I can't it. move the Chiefs to number one after beating up the Jets I can't do it I mean I know right. they beat them up but all right, I can't all right, all move right. them up just because just the Steelers just beat the to. top five team in the, the Raiders the Chiefs haven't played no defense like the Steelers yet either what that's true you, I agree. Yeah, there's no defense in the league like the Steelers, I think. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. why they got it. They got to say it number one. But I just – quick little edit real quick. I want Spillane's crybaby face after he walked off on the <laughs> sideline. He's holding his shoulder. I want Spillane's crybaby face. I'll, right I'll show you it because the third play of the next game, 
pick six, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Fuck, bro. That's fast. Literally so, watched so, that so, and I was like, ah, yeah. oh, I'm going to hear it from Shenny. Got to go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally so mad. I guess Third you win play the, the game. game Damn it, bro. Well, so Steelers stay atop the, the league at number one. Wow. We're probably one of the few shows that actually give it up to them. And they, a keep lot of up. people want to keep KC up there, but that playoff matchup of these two teams is going to be huge. And we're already at week eight, so we're working up to the playoffs right now. We're halfway yeah, there. This is, this is we're going flying. into nine. We're halfway there. That's Bon Jovi, oh, hey. That's bon Jovi for the fans. 1v31 one, one this week on Sunday afternoon in Dallas, 125 p.m. <laughs> That's going to be a tough game. Ben DiNucci's going to pull it off if you play. Ben DiNucci is not playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess All that right. concludes our power that's rankings. Power that's rankings. 32 to 1. Hey, man. Steelers. Like and subscribe. One. Shenny, I have to give it to you. Average Thanks. power rankings for you. Yes, sir. Being average. All right.